What's up you guys? So today is a really exciting day, so I figured that I would vlog it for two reasons. Um, one, today is Steven and I's one year wedding anniversary. Our first year of marriage went by so fast. It's crazy, like it does not feel like a year. Um, we will be together for 11 years in January, which also doesn't feel like we will be together for 11 years. We're getting close to like the break even point where like we, we will have been together for more years in our life than we were apart, which is kind of crazy to think when we're 30. So we still have four more years for that, but like we're getting there, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so today marks one year of marriage. You guys obviously saw on our channel that we went to the Bahamas to celebrate our anniversary. We went a little early because Steven could not get off on our actual anniversary. He had work, um, but he couldn't get off for it, which is fine. Um, so he's at work during the day today, but tonight later on, we're gonna go to get dinner just to celebrate together. Um, and we're gonna eat our wedding cake, which like, I don't know if this is a thing everywhere. I think it probably is. Is. Um, but in the United States, it's like customary where you save the top layer of your wedding cake. It's called like your anniversary layer or something. Um, and you freeze it and then you eat it on your one year anniversary. So we're going to be doing that tonight. I'm a little nervous that it's going to taste like rancid because I mean, it's a year old cake. But like the place that we got married at, like put it in this like kind of like box thing, which is supposed to like help to preserve it. So it doesn't get freezer burned, blah, 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 whatever. So I don't know. I took it out of the freezer last night. I put it in our fridge. I'm going under a lot of bridges, which is why the... Um, lighting is going in and out. Sorry about that. But I put it in our fridge last night to defrost, so hopefully <laughs> it tastes good. I don't know. We'll have to see, but we'll vlog all that and show you guys. Um, but right now, during the day today, since Steven's working, you know, so it wasn't like we were going to do anything for our anniversary during the day. Anyways, I am going to meet up with two of my friends that you guys may know. Um, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. I am driving right now to Bree's house. Um, her channel is Blissful Bree here on YouTube. If you guys don't know her, I'll link her down below in the description. She's awesome. Um, so she lives in New Jersey as well, so I am driving down to her house right now. And then once I get to her house, we're gonna drive together out to Pennsylvania to meet up with Jasmine uh, from Juicy Jazz, which I will link her channel down below too. They're both really awesome uh, beauty YouTubers. And yeah, we've been friends for the longest time. I don't even know how we all kind of became friends, but I love them so much. And we always try and make time to like get together. Um, so we're doing that today. And so once I get to Breeze, we're gonna drive together out to PA, which is where Jasmine lives. Um, and we're gonna go to the King of Prussia Mall which is like apparently supposed to be like amazing. It's like one of the best malls in Pennsylvania. Um, and I've never been there, so I'm really excited. It's just nice to be able to hang out with people that do YouTube and social media and stuff and like that understand it, you know, and to be able to have friends in the industry. Cause like, I obviously don't live in LA, so it's not like there's like an influx of influencers here. Um, so it's nice to be able to have them and like just be able to discuss like things about work and just like, you know, just like things going on in the industry. And we always have so much fun when we get together. Um, you know, cause we don't even really all live all that close, you know, like I live an hour from Brie and we both live like well over two hours from Jasmine, but we do always try and make time to be able to get together at least a couple times per year and just hang out cause we always have so much fun. So I am very excited and I will bring you guys along for all of that. Uh, so I will see you guys when we get to Brie's house. All right, you guys, so me and Brie just got Hello. to the mall. <laughs> we were literally jamming out to Christmas music oh, yeah. like the whole two hours here. <laughs> so I didn't vlog in the car because I didn't want to get copyrighted, but just know that we were jamming to Christmas music. <laughs> so bomb. Even though it's November 9th That's and <laughs> we both love Christmas. We're ready. So we're walking in now, we're gonna get some lunch, we're gonna meet Jasmine and yeah. Okay guys, so we just got our lunch. I got a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Jasmine got a vegan chicken sandwich over Hi, here. <laughs> And then Brie got grilled cheese with some soup. So good. Yum. Excited. This tree is so big. Oh my gosh. It literally goes from the bottom of the mall all the way to the top. So pretty. We are all buying these mounts for our car so we can vlog so in the car. $5. <laughs> Can't beat it at five below. All right, you guys, so we were all super boring and the only thing we all got are these things from Five Below. We walked all over the mall, like all day. <laughs> and uh, this is all we got, but we had fun, so it's okay. All right, you guys, so I just got home from the mall. It was like a long ride home because I do live very far, um, but I'm home now and Steven just got home from work. He's over here wiping his face <laughs> before we go to dinner. Um, we're gonna head to dinner for our anniversary. Happy anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> All right, you guys, we just got home from dinner, so we are about to open up the cake. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it's good. This has been in our freezer all year long. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I feel like it's gonna be like, look terrible. I don't know, we haven't opened it yet. 
Is it bad? Oh, okay. A little icing on the top, but it's really not that bad. Oh, wow, it even has like all the rhinestones and everything on it. Oh, I didn't expect that. Aside from the icing, it honestly, yeah, it honestly looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna try it. Oh. We also can't remember for the life of us what we chose for the yeah. top layer, because like our cake was like a variety of different flavors, and we don't remember what we chose, so it's like. <laughs> it's either trace de leche. Yeah, which is like a caramel sort of thing, or possibly cannoli, cannoli or, red or red velvet. Yeah, because those were the flavors that we had. Probably trace de leche. Is that what you're hoping for? I hope so. Either that or cannoli. I don't want red velvet, because I don't really like that. You ready? Yes, I'm ready for you to cut it up so we can try this. Oh my God, what's it gonna be? It's probably gonna be red velvet and then neither of us are gonna eat it. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's white cake, I can see that. Oh wait, you're right, okay. All right, so we know it's not red velvet, so either way, we're gonna like it. Let's see if the filling comes out. Mm, might be cannoli, I don't know. Really? Well, we like that, it's okay. Um, cutting it with a steak knife, <laughs> whatever. We don't use the right things always. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's dolce de leche. That's what it looks like. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's not cannoli. Yay, that's what we wanted. Yeah, our... We're not very good cake cutters. <laughs> oh my god, but that's okay. I feel like that's good enough for the both of us. That could be peace, unless you want more. I'm starving. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> we have our cake. I'm nervous. I feel like it's gonna be gross. I don't, I don't know. Feel like sick. Like it was like 50-50 though, because I showed people on Instagram last night when I was taking it out, and people were like. Half the people were like, oh no, like mine was like delicious, like it's gonna be fine. And other people were like, no, it was absolutely disgusting, like it did not taste good. All right, I need to get like a little icing too. Oh my god, okay, are you ready? Cheers. <laughs> oh, it tastes completely normal. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of shook that this is a year old and tastes completely normal. I mean, probably not as good as the you know our wedding day, but much better than I expected. Nah, it, tastes, it tastes like a cake you get out of like the freezer section of your grocery store. Mmm, like those Pepperidge Farm store. cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not like gourmet. Not well, not anymore. No. And it's cold. It's good though. Very good. It is. And we got lucky. It's what we wanted it to be too, like flavor wise, because we both really love like caramel dolce de leche. Or, <laughs> tra trace leche apparently as well. <laughs> Which is a completely different cake. If it was red velvet, I wouldn't have ate it. No, Stephen doesn't eat anything that's chocolate. I forgot that red velvet is chocolate. Yeah. Or, well, the cake is red, but obviously this wasn't red velvet. Well, it's just chocolate with red food color, isn't it? Um, yeah, I guess. I think so, yeah. Oh, there's other stuff in there probably. I don't know. We're both vanilla people. I'm full from dinner, but this is good. So I'm surprised. All right, well, it's been a long day for us both, but we will see you guys tomorrow and pick up with more vlogs. Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day. I have no makeup on um, because, oh, my hair is going crazy now, because I planned to get up early this morning and film, and then we woke up, well, we were actually awoken by our neighbors getting all these trees cut down, yeah. and it is so loud. So Stephen was like, I don't think you're going to be able to film. Like, you're absolutely going to feel, you're going to hear it. And I, like, tested it and was like, okay. Like, you literally couldn't even hear me talking. It was so bad because it's really, really Really loud um, so instead <laughs> we're here at Hobby Lobby I don't know if you guys can see it but we're gonna go get some Christmas decor because I think we want to start um, like decorating our house this Christmas, week yeah. Gotta get an early start on <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go in and see what they have because normally Hobby Lobby has some really good stuff so let's go see Even wants to get this little chair for Prince. <laughs> That's actually the perfect size for him, though. Maybe a little tree, little chair. That'd be great. <laughs> Might break it though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And he's getting a little chunky. He is, yeah. They always have all the prettiest Christmas balls here. We got like all of ours from here last year, so I think we're gonna use the same ones. We don't need any more, but they're so so beautiful. Everything they have here. And everything at this store is always 50% off. So like when you look at it, it's always half the actual price. I don't know if I like this one with like the flock or this one with the glitter. I sent Steven to go get a cart. <laughs> Cause I was like, we're gonna have too much stuff. We need the cart. I think we're gonna get this for our back staircase in our house. I have a lot of stuff that I put on our front staircase, but we didn't do anything on our back staircase last year. So I think this is pretty, it's like simple but still holiday vibes. So I think we're gonna grab some of these. We probably need a lot to go all the way up the stairs, but. I like it. How many do you think we need of these to cover all the back stairs? 
How long is it? It's 7.5 feet long, so what do you think? Change in plans. We're gonna do this one. I decided I don't want simple. This one's a lot more expensive, but I feel like it's so pretty. And this goes with our tree a little bit better and we'll have it like forever, so we're gonna go with these. Steven thinks we need like five of them. I do not. They're really long. Our back staircase four. is not that long. And then we'll just come back if we need another one. I just feel like we're gonna buy too much and then I always feel bad returning things. So I'd rather buy less and come back and buy more. I can already see the glitter getting I'm all over the floor. In I'm covered in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, they're so beautiful though. It's gonna look really pretty. So we're also going to get these for the front door. We have these baskets that we have Christmas trees in at the front door. So I'm going to add these just to kind of make the baskets look a little more Christmassy. And then we're getting a lot of this ribbon because we're going to tie this. We have like big pillars in front of our house that are white. So I figured if we tied this around them, it would kind of look like candy canes. So I thought that would be cute. So we're getting that too. This is you right here. <laughs> no it is true. The only day that I like to get up early is Christmas. <laughs> It is brutally cold out today. Like it feels like Christmas day or something because it is so stinking cold in New Jersey. It's like literally 30 degrees, but I think we did good. Oh, the wind makes it so bad. Got a lot of good stuff. And I think we should hopefully be pretty good on Christmas stuff now, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> Although probably not. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of like week in our live, couple days in our lives sort yeah. of vlog. We like combined together a bunch of different days, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. And yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing videos where we're decorating our house for Christmas. We'll probably save those for Vlogmas. Um, so you guys will probably see those pretty soon, like, cause it's almost December anyways. Um, and yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We love you and we'll see you very soon in our next vlog. Bye. Bye.